Hi everyone, so we are here at Bisteca Tuscan Steakhouse, number 26 Mohammed Sultan Road. Let's go inside. Alright, you're on. I'm well now. Thoughts on a set lunch? Looks pretty good actually, I have to say. Am I meant to be looking in there? Alright, how do you want to do it? Yeah, so they've got an executive set lunch, which actually looks quite good. You can get two courses for thirty-eight dollars, three courses for forty-eight. So I don't know what you what you want to go for, because I'm personally probably going to just go for a steak. Yeah, because I'm not that. But I don't really want starters and all that kind of stuff. I just want steak and yeah. You said bread, pasta basically. earlier. I'm not. I don't really come to a steakhouse for pasta. No. Does that mean you're going to just delete that magic of just put on screen? No, no. Be on there. <laughs> Because then you can go good now. Chat. You can go now and go. Yeah, don't worry. I'll stitch it all together. It'll be beautiful. Like, you get a, B, a bit of B roll in there. <laughs> don't know what that is. You know, like the the spread roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B roll. I like it. Oh You're a fucking B hell. <laughs> all right. I'm, well, we're just gonna go for the normal one. Now, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're gonna go for the. You're gonna be like a knob on you and go for the. And whatever the fancy. What's the strip loin then? Yeah, it'd probably be good if we actually did some research and <laughs> found out what each of these yeah, are. Yeah, we're going to talk about steaks. I'll let you know nothing about steaks. Well, I think I'm going to go for the rib. Okay. Grass or grain? Uh, I Grass. Think grain. Really? Tastes better. Mm. I don't know what steak to get. <clears throat> strip loin. Well, what would you normally get? I don't know what that is. Fill it. Yeah, um, what would you recommend? I usually order a fillet if I have a steak, so what would be... I would go for the rib eye green fillet, it's not more smooth. Oh, you boom! Need something more juicy. That's what rib eye it's green. Flavorful. It's good because it's more flavourful, uh, isn't it? Is it quite fatty or not? It's slightly, but it's not that bad. Not that bad, okay. If you want something leaner, then maybe the grass fillet or the tenderloin would be a good choice. And why, why do you not have fillet on the menu? Is it because it's gash? <laughs> so he always gives me a hard time for ordering fillet because he says it's not proper steak. Which is, which is ballsy. I think we should get something different. Yeah, yeah. So I will go for the tenderloin, please. Tenderloin, please. Yeah. Medium, please. Medium, yeah. Oh. Charles. <clears throat> uh, I'll have a medium rare, please. The tenderloin? No, I'm oh, sorry, I'm gonna have a, a ribeye grain, yeah. Um, medium rare, but more on the rare side, more on the rare side. Good bread? Mm. Alright, so why this place? A while ago I'd asked a couple of friends for the best um, steak place in Singapore and they said here. Really? Yeah. Big shout. Mm. So you've never been here? No. I haven't had a steak in a while actually. Yeah. I'm trying to think when I last had one. Oh, uh, on my birthday. Morton's. Great, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was fucking expensive, but yeah, it was good. I used to love Morton's. But when I first arrived, there wasn't really that many steak outs. Right. It's ten years ago. It's proper expensive, isn't it? Like, you can't go, it's not like a. But I mean, this is cheap, it's 78 dollars yeah. steak. It's pretty punchy. <laughs> now, this is weird. Why would they give. Two people, just bread? three pieces. Yes, please. Yeah, that'd be good. You read my mind. <laughs> yeah, I like it when those restaurants they bring it out. <laughs> uh, bring the cow out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that one will do fine. Yeah, because then we can tell like where it's from, the, the value of the steak itself, mm. how it's cooked. Did they get it right? How it <clears> tastes. Yeah, because I order like if I. Sometimes I like I always order medium. Sometimes it will turn up and it's like still pumping. And then other times I order a medium and it's like dry. Well, like they've, they've absolutely killed it. Yeah, so yeah, that's so that's why like I always used to order medium rare. Right. But I found that here in Singapore they always overcook it. Right. So I started to go rare, and then it comes out like a medium rare. Yeah. yeah. 
But yeah, I think it's it's tough to find a chef that actually does it properly. Thank you very much. Right. Broccoli, steak fries. Thank you. Are you only for your steak fries? Yeah? Lovely. Enjoy your food. That's a good bit of meat. Yeah. Looks like it. Tenderloin, 200 grams, medium. It's pretty chunky, isn't it? Yeah. How's it done? Medium, a little bit, little bit of pink there. Good. It's all right. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. First, first impressions out of ten. Oh. Probably an eight. Really? Wow, mm. big. Seven and a half, eight. Pretty good, nice and chewy. Chewy's good. Chewy in a good way. Mm. Yeah, solid. Cook well or cook medium. Flavours. Meaty. <laughs> 300 gram ribeye grain fed, right? Yeah, grain fed. Medium, medium rare. rare. Feels good. Springy? Yeah. Decent size. Nice little pink on the inside. My mouth is actually watering. Oh, go for it. <laughs> You're right. It's good. It's got that char char grilled flavour. Juicy. Cooked good. Cooked well. It's got a lot of flavour. I think the meat's a little bit tough. Really? Yeah. Is that why it's flat? Because they've been hammering it out in the kitchen. I don't think you're meant to hammer a ribeye. <laughs> Generally, I would. I think straight off six and a half. Oh. After that first uh, that first go, I thought it was going to be a high score. But I think the first mouthful is always that because I haven't had steak for so long. Right. And it's the juice, the fat. I mean, don't get me wrong, it tastes good, but I think in terms of like the actual quality of the steak, that's definitely at best. Yeah. But it's a decent cut of meat. Oh, it's a bit of salt, pepper, good. Do you want to try a bit? <laughs> you should be really, shouldn't you? You yeah. should do a bit of a swap. Even though you're giving your six and a half, I'll give them an eight. I'm not really selling it to me. It's very lean. <laughs> it's almost the same texture as it feels, isn't it? Hmm. I see why you gave yours a six and a half. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, if I'd been able to try it before ordering, I wouldn't order it, if that makes sense. But you can taste the, um, like you said, the char grill kind of taste, you can definitely get that. It's a good thing. I mean, it's definitely better than that. Do you have sauces or do you tend not to? Yeah, see, I generally... With steak, I don't eat with any sauce. Mm. I think it takes away from the taste. Chips? Pretty good actually. I still got the skin on. <clears throat> nice bit of crunch to them. <laughs> Fluffy in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, the chips are good. I like the broccoli as well actually. Yeah, I was just going to say that that's quite, quite pink for a medium steak. So if you do come here and you do like your steak medium, you might want to specify maybe a medium well done kind of go the other way it's actually really nice though so it's half one and they've randomly turned all the lights down <laughs> it's good i'm still i'm sticking with my eight out of ten yeah mm. yeah that's really good Yum. post date red wine low feeling with need a bit of a nap. <laughs> That's really good, really good steak. Like I said before, it was on the rare side of medium, I would say. Pretty 
red in the middle. Weirdly, one end was red, but then the other end was was a medium. So slightly strange, but. So I know the ribeye is generally the fattier bit of steak, but I think that's quite a lot of gristle, wouldn't you agree? Like a lot. I mean, that's where all the juice and the flavour comes well, from. Well, I was going to say, you always tell me that the fat's the best bit. But well, it is, I mean, but, but that's why the wagyu's so good, right? Because it's marbled into the meat. Yeah. You don't, you're not eating fucking chunks of it like this. Yeah. Also, Slam. what are your thoughts on like cutlery? Because <laughs> I think you, when you go into a good steakhouse, you can tell straight off on their knife. So, do you think that's a good knife or a bad knife? I think it's it's a good knife. It's, it's sharp, it's, but it's not serrated. Yeah, I like the wooden handle. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously got their their sign on it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It's just it's not that heavy. It's pretty yeah. average. But when you pick up a steak. So yeah, great, you're cutting in... some good meat with that. Yeah, yeah. you want like a tomahawk or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. I think I'm sticking with uh, six and a half for my for my meat. Oof. I think mine was was pretty good. What did you think of mine when you tried it? Yours was nice. It was. I mean, it, it's not my my ideal cut, but I think it tasted it tasted pretty decent. You could taste the meat as opposed to like, you know, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it actually tastes the meat as opposed to like juicy beef fat. <laughs> <laughs> but so it was, yeah, it was, <clears throat> it was all right. It seemed pretty decent. I just would never order it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this has been our first steakhouse review. We're going to try and get around as many as we can in Singapore. All different categories, yeah. different price ranges, different price points. Definitely some budget ones in there. Yeah, can't do this all the time. Yeah, fucking hell, definitely <laughs> not. Unless you sponsor us. <laughs> but um, yeah, first review. I think it went well. If you like what we're doing, give us some feedback. Leave your comments in, in the comment section below. And please subscribe. We've been two fat lads and a side of fries.